British Prime Minister Liz Truss is facing questions in the House of Commons in her first full day as Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm honoured to take my place as Prime Minister in this House. Truss says she's determined to deliver for everybody across the UK and vows to work constructively with all members of Parliament to tackle challenges. Growing the economy is among her priorities and she was questioned about how she would help low-income families. What I am determined to do as Prime Minister is to make sure we have an economy with high wages and high skilled jobs. And the way, the way I will achieve that is through reducing taxes on people across our country and boosting economic growth. That is the way that we will make sure we get the investment and the jobs that people deserve. The energy crisis and improving the National Health Service are also at the top of the list of her priorities. CTV's Paul Workman is outside Westminster in London for us this morning. Paul, hello to you. So the new Prime Minister met with her cabinet today. She faced questions in the British House of Commons. Tell us more about that and tell us more about the makeup of her cabinet. Well, first of all, she's going to make her huge, first huge announcement tomorrow, and we got some vague ideas today about what it's going to be about. She will announce sort of a multi-billion dollar plan to help uh, people and businesses with soaring energy costs. And that became sort of the theme of her first uh, question period, if you like, today. And we saw the, the outline of how that's going to be challenged and the difficulty she's going to face in putting that into place. The, uh, the Labour Party and the, the Liberal Democrats here want to see the money that's going to be used to pay for this huge subsidy, uh, that it should come from the oil and gas industry, that they should pay a windfall tax because they're making huge profits now on oil and gas prices. Uh, Liz Truss, the new Prime Minister, has said absolutely not. She will not bring in a windfall tax. And in fact, she very much wants to cut taxes. And so you're now going to have this classic economic battle between her party and the opposition to see how you pay for this very important um, program that will alleviate many of the issues, many of the concerns and worries and alarm over energy prices that, uh, that people are feeling. And in fact, the opposition has already got a name for this. They're calling it the trust tax because taxpayers will, will be forced to pay for this, uh, uh, Marcia. Mm. And as for her cabinet, did she keep anyone uh, from Boris Johnson's <laughs> time? Oh, there are some people from Boris Johnson's um, cabinet, but there's really nobody from Rishi Sunak, who she faced, who was the chancellor here, who she faced in the leader leadership contest, pretty much took all of those people out. Um, what's interesting for the first time is the diversity of this particular cabinet. Uh, it, it is no longer sort of a clubby white man's club. Uh, it is filled with women, people of color, um, in some of the most important jobs here. And that's a huge difference from, say, even 10 10, 20 years ago, um, and certainly with the cabinet under Boris Johnson. Paul Workman, thank you so much. Paul joining us this morning from outside Westminster. Okay.